It is my distinct pleasure to introduce and to welcome and please join me in welcoming a remarkable individual uh, and a dear friend, Admiral Carter. Wow, what an amazing day. And it is so incredible to be with all of you here for this 2019 graduation at the University of Memphis. So to the class of 2019, I want to start off this day right for you, because it's your day. So I'm going to ask you to just stand up for a second. And I want you to look around. And I want you to give a big, huge round of applause to all of your family and friends who came here to support you here today. So stand up, give them a round of applause, because they help get you here. I want to thank President Rudd for uh, inviting me to be here today as, uh, as he read through my very too long bio. Uh, I've been an active duty naval officer for 38 years. I had the privilege of going to a, a pretty special program 34 years ago called the Navy Fighter Weapons School, or Top Gun. This is the 50th year of that program. And you know, that's a movie that even after 33 years kind of lives in kind of pop culture. Uh, you may remember some of those those famous sayings, I feel the need, I feel the need for speed, no points for second place, and my personal favorite, sorry Goose, it's time to buzz the tower. <laughs> but what you may not know about Top Gun, it's not just about trying to create fighter pilots to be the best of the best. There's something that's uh, very serious about that program, and I want to center on that. Not that I'm going to make all of you Top Gun graduates here today, but what Top Gun was intended to do, and what it did for me 34 years ago, and what it continues to do for young men and women who fly, is to make them masters at the art of teaching and learning. And I've been in that business now for a long time. And I want to acknowledge that as I see the graduates that are going to get their diplomas today, you're going to go into all different walks of life. You're going to go into different professions, whether it be the medicine community, the service community, business community, what I've come to know over that time is there's some things that you can take away from what I've learned from that experience that will serve you well. Now these are three simple things. They're going to seem very simple to you, but I can guarantee you that if you take these into your life and you apply them, you will inspire everyone around you and you'll continue to inspire yourself. You'll make your communities, your city, your state, our nation, and the world a better place. So here it is, the three rules to live by. Number one, tell the truth. You know, we live in an odd time right now where it's hard to know what real truth is, and it has to start with us. It isn't just about being facts-based or how you tell the truth, it's about creating a culture of trust with everybody that's around you. Because the world is a complex and unpredictable place. Bad things happen every day. They'll happen to you, they'll happen to the workplace that you go, and each and every one of us has to be something of a problem solver. And to solve problems, there's some things that you have to remember. First of all, bad news never gets better with age. And the second is, if you're gonna have somebody give you some news that's bad, or you have to deliver yourself, never shoot the messenger. Because the quicker you can get after small problems, it's much easier before they get bigger. The second rule to live by is to be good and be good to yourself first. Because if you can't be good to yourself, nobody else can help you, really. And what I mean by that, and as I see you today, you've already done something amazingly good for yourself. You've you know, taken on this academic achievement to improve yourself mentally, but there's more than that. It's how you take care of yourself physically, what you put into your body, what you do with yourself emotionally, socially, and spiritually, to be the best person that you can be. So take care of yourself. It's also important to take care of others. Our nation is the greatest melting pot the world has ever seen. We have to learn, again, the basic principles of dignity and respect. Regardless of who you come into contact, the color of their skin, the religion, where they come from, their economic or socio background, it's important that we take care of everybody around us. The golden rule still applies. Treat others just like you'd be, like to be treated yourself. And of course, we have to take care of our environment. Be good to your workplace, be good to your environment. You know, with globalization, the world is getting smaller every day. 71% of the world is covered by water, 
80% of the population lives 60 miles from the coast. We do not have unlimited resources. So that starts with each and every one of us, how we take care of our environment, our space, whatever equipment you have is designed a certain lifetime and you can't waste it. And finally, my last piece of advice, the last rule to live by is to be on time. You know, regardless of where you go and what you do, if you want to separate yourself from whatever product or delivery you have, you will be better than the next person if you are on time. And that means you actually have to be early because those that plan to be on time are usually late. So that's it. It's really pretty simple. Tell the truth, be good to yourself, those that you come in touch with in our environment, and be on time. I'm so proud to be with you. Congratulations to the University of Memphis class of 2019. This is a great achievement for you. You will go out and make the world a better place. And as this, today is a celebration, and it should be a celebration, I ask you to do one more thing. Sometime during your day today, take a moment and think about the over 200,000 men and women, soldiers, sailors, airmen, Marines, Coast Guardsmen, National Guardsmen, they're serving in nearly every continent in the world, on, above, and below the oceans of the world to protect the very freedom that we have here today. God bless them. God bless the class of 2019. Go Navy, go Memphis, go Tigers! Thank you, Admiral, for your timely, insightful, and very meaningful comments. I am pleased to now award the honorary degree. The University of Memphis and its Board of Trustees have authorized the awarding of the honorary degree to our commencement speaker, Vice Admiral Walter E. Ted Carter, Jr. Uh, let me congratulate uh, Admiral Carter. If you needed another title, uh, we're going to give you one, so we now can refer to you as Dr. Carter uh, as well. So congratulations. Thank you for this amazing honor. I am proud to now say that I will be part of the University of Memphis for the rest of my life. Go Tigers! <laughs>